Go. Today we're taking a look at resources, utilization, and development. That's what we are going to take a look at. And as a class, I know you all know what resources is about and what development is about. Because in one way or the other, we've come in contact with resources. The chair we are sitting on is made out of resources. The classroom that we find ourselves in is made out of a combination of resources. So our topic for today is our resource development and utilization. Materials needed for the production of goods and services. So this marker board that I'm writing on was generated or was produced as a result of a combination of resources. This uh, marker I'm using came to be as a combination of resources. So everything that we produce, all things that come about are as a result of what resources. And development, on the other hand, means the qualitative and the quantitative improvement in the standard of living of people. The qualitative and quantitative improvements in the standard of living of people. We take the marker board for example. This is a marker board. When you want to improve this marker board, you can go in for a smart board. The smart board replacing this one means that they have you know, a qualitative improvement on this marker board and that is what development in the same way when this marker board is replicated in all the classrooms then that means also development because you have the qualitative and the quantitative aspects of development and resources what are resources resources are grouped into three main types We have the natural We have the natural resource, the human resource, and the capital resource. These are the three types of resources we have. Going forward, we're going to take a look at them one after the other. We first take a look at the cap natural resource before we move on to the human resource and the capital resource. What is natural resource? When it says something is natural, it means something that is given by nature. So natural resources here are resources that are provided by nature. We don't say God because in academia people believe that we have the work came to me as a result of all the Darwin theory of evolution. They also have the Big Bang theory, all big theories of how the work came to be. But we say what given by nature. So the natural resources are resources which have been given by nature. Resources include the trees or the vegetation, our global bodies, our maintenance areas, and so many other things that we came to meet here on earth. Those things that we didn't bring but we came to meet, those are the natural resources. And under these natural resources, we have three types. The first one uh, is the, the renewable. We also have the non renewable and then we have the inexhausting. We have the inexhausting. 
So this under this natural resources, we have three different types. 